Hi everyone. In this video we'll be looking at how to use the Vata Builder Element Options and explain when, where and how they can be used. The way the elements are designed in Avada provide a quick and easy way to customise every element as they are added, or to just have them inherit their settings from the global options. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos like this one. And if you don't want to miss one, click the bell icon to get notifications of all new videos on our channel. Ok, let's begin. Avada offers a lot of elements to help you build your website. In fact there are now well over 70 individual design elements with which to build your site, and that's not counting the Avada layout or Avada form elements. To fully understand how Avada Builder elements work, we need to understand that element options can generally be found in two places, the Avada Builder element global options, and the individual element options. Let's start with the global options. I'm on the Avada Charity pre-built website here, and in the global options, under the Avada Builder elements tab, there are a range of global options that can be set for many design elements to customise how the element works out of the box. I'll just demonstrate with an example. I'm going to change the default behaviour for the button element. As we can see before I make any changes, a couple of the global defaults for the buttons are to be black on hover and to have no border radius, making them rectangular. So now I'll change the button gradient top and bottom hover colour to this blue colour from the logo and the button radius to 25. Now we can see all the buttons have changed, at least to some degree. All the buttons now have a rounded appearance due to the border radius change, and most of them also have the blue colour on hover, like this one in the menu, the one further down the page here, and the four buttons under this in the content boxes element. All of these buttons are based on the default style, and because we have just changed the default styling, they now have rounder edges due to the border radius and are now blue on rollover. The two in the Avada slider at the top however have only changed their shape, because in the button shortcode in the Avada slide, the border radius was not defined, and so it inherits the default border radius. But the colours were defined, and so they stay as they are. The same is true of the two buttons in the container above the footer. So it's important to note that any changes made to the default styling of an element made in the global options will also affect any previously made instance of the same element that are also using any default options. So it truly is a global change. If I come back to the button near the top and edit it and go to the design tab, you can see that the button style is set to default. This determines that the button will use the default styling I have set in the global options. You can always override these global defaults when creating a button by choosing another colour preset or by choosing custom and adding individual colours and styling elements. For example here I'll just set the button span to yes and that overrides what the default option for button span is, which if we look in the description is no. Ok let's return to the global options. Some elements have quite a lot of global options, like the button, and some have only a few, like the carousel here which controls all elements that use carousels. And of course you don't need to configure the default behaviour of elements that you don't use on your site. But on the ones you do use, it's smart to go through the global options for each one, so they come out looking like you want them to by default. In the Avada Builder Elements list, there are also options to customise structural elements like the column and the container element. With the column element we can adjust a few things like our global margins, the column spacing, and a couple of responsive options. And for the container element, there are a whole range of options we can set. Just remember the changes you make here are global and will affect the same element wherever you have used it on your site. So that's global options. And then there are the individual element options in the Avada Builder that only apply to the single instance of the element added. Depending on the element chosen, there will be different options. Some elements are very simple like the menu anchor element which only has a couple of options. Others are more complex and have multiple tabs for configuration, like the button element as we have seen. Others are more complex in the data that can be input like the pricing table or the chart element. And yet others are parent child elements, like the gallery element. For full details on the individual elements, please see the Avada Builder element stock listed below which has links to every single Avada Builder element available. As an example of using and customising an element, 
Let's have a look at another pre-built website. Here I have the Avada Creative website. On the home page, if I scroll down towards the bottom, there is a section for our services. Now let's imagine we want to expand our services content from a single services page to having one page for each service. So we might want to add a button linking to each page under each section. Let's do that. Before we add the buttons, I might make a small change to the actual container for this section. If I edit the container and go to the background tab and color, we can see if we open the description that the default color for containers is actually transparent white. This is an RGBA value, which uses three RGB values and an alpha value for transparency. I won't change the global option as I don't want to affect all containers, but for just this single instance of the container, I will change the background color to this very pale blue. Okay, so now let's add our buttons. We won't need this button at the bottom of the container or the separator above it, so I'll delete that whole column. Okay, so where we want to put the new buttons is at the bottom of each column here. I want a separator at the bottom before the buttons, and I could just add them manually, but there's already an appropriate separator right here. I could clone it and drag it into place, but in this case I'm going to copy it by right-clicking on it and selecting Copy, and then I'll paste it at the end of each of these columns. And now I'll start adding the buttons. With the first one, I'll add a button, and I'll just give it a dummy link for now. I'll call this one View Our Digital Services. I'll just change the alignment of the button to center, but apart from that, this button will use all default values coming from the Avada Builder Elements section in the Global Options. If I go to the Design tab, you can see the style is set to default, as is the button type, the size, and the span. I'll add a new button in the middle column, just give it a dummy link, and I'll call it View Our Branding Services. I'll also align it to the center like the other one. And this time in the Design tab, I'm going to make some more changes. I'll leave the type, size, and span at default values, but for the button style, I'm going to change it. I can choose a preset, or I can choose Custom, which loads the default values to start. I'll just change out the gradient top and bottom colors. I'll use a lighter version of the same color, and with the blue gradient top and bottom hover colors, I'll use the other color used on the site. Okay. And now I'll add my third button. I might just clone the first one and drag it over this time and just change the name to View Our Marketing Services. Okay, as we can see, our container now has a background color. The buttons on the left and right are displaying the global styling for buttons as set in the global options, with the one exception of alignment, which we centered, whereas the button in the middle has both a different button style and alignment. All the other settings are coming from the default button values but in principle, we could have changed anything. Okay, let's summarize. The Avada Builder Element Global options set the default values for the elements, whereas the individual element options are unique to that specific instance of the element and override any global element options set in the Avada Global options. Okay, this concludes our video on how to use Avada Builder Element options. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos. And if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.